So I thought I'd introduce people to my outside kitty cat. Kyla, move your little head. Or your big head, really. I'm not cool oh, you're in the way. Come on. Let's see your head. Let's see little mama. She's the mother of one of my inside kittens. When we moved in here and the house hadn't been lived in for a couple of years, she had had babies in the bushes. Kylo, no one wants to see your butt. As cute as it is. Um, nope, she ran away. Lana. Anyway, she was spayed by us. We caught, spayed, and released. And I don't know if you could all hear me. Guys, oh my God, she's gone. <laughs> she's gone, okay? I'm sorry. I know that's devastating, but she's gone. In fact, because she's gone, I'll let you out, so hopefully you'll shut up. Um, little mama. Do you want to go out? I'll be proud of you if you go out. I didn't think so. I did not think so, you little liar. Okay. <coughs> um. Oh goodness. Little mama, we spayed and released her. And um, she stuck around. And we named her little mama, not really as a name, but we just kept calling her that because she was a mom. And we took in all her kittens. She only had three that we, unless some of them were passed away or something and we don't know it. But um, she gave birth to them under the house behind some bushes. And I would sometimes, at first we just thought it was her here for like the first month we were here. And then suddenly we saw these little heads. They were two months old by then. And we caught them. We adopted out two together because they loved each other. Um, to a woman who had moved here from Alabama. And luckily had a friend who rehabilitates feral cats because one of the cats who we had just recently caught and was more difficult to catch had um, some aggression issues and she had kids. But she didn't just get rid of them, so I was very happy about that and made a good choice. Um, we thought about giving them to the shelter, but after going in, seeing all the cats they had there, and then as we were there, people kept coming in. Look, I found this litter of cats in my horse's um, pen and all the sorts of stuff, and there are all sorts of different people bringing all these large litters. I'm like, okay, I'm not leaving the kittens here. <laughs> There's not much of a chance for them to get adopted. They're going to be killed. So we did it ourselves. We tried to find a rescue to help us, but they weren't willing. So then we kept one. The one that looked most like little mama and was the first one we caught. We actually caught her with the mama. I think she was her mama's favorite because they looked alike. And also I think she was kind of a runt. Not by much, but she was a little smaller. And um, the other kittens didn't seem to like her as much as they liked each other. Um, but the mama loved her. It was her baby. All the kittens looked very different. One looked like a Himalayan. <laughs> if you've seen a Himalayan, the kind of Siamese markings and long hair. The other one looked like a um, Sylvester cat from Looney Tunes. And the other one looked just like Little Mama, black, with a little tiny bit of white on her chest. The only difference is that this little kitten has green eyes. No, yellow eyes. Well, the mom has green eyes. Um, we named her daughter Lucy, and our cats love her. There's videos of her on my YouTube, um, the introduction process. And Little Mama never left. We did spare, like I said, there's a lot of stray cats in this neighborhood. I'm not really sure why. I think I heard rumors once that some old lady had either died or left or something and she had all these cats and now they're just loose around here. I don't know if that's true, but there's a lot of cats around here. Most of them I do not think are fixed. I thought about spaying, banging them all, but that's they're all over the town, the neighborhood. It's kind of hard to do. They stick to their territories, usually, not always. <laughs> But little mama is a pretty smart cat. She always avoids trouble. She's very smart. But I still worry about her. I want to bring her inside one day. But so far, it hasn't... She, she's, she loves us and she wants attention and pets, but she doesn't want to come inside by being picked up. She'll come in of her own free will, but not being picked up or anything, and that kind of creates a lot of trouble. So one day, if we do move here or have to move from here because of Medicaid, we're taking her with us. I mean, that's end of story. <laughs> She's our baby now. Um, we love her. Little Lana, you want to be entertaining? A little head tilt. And um, yeah, little mama. 
She got her name just by coincidence. It stuck. And she responds to it. So it just became her name. And it's the name we used when we spayed her. Um, we feed her. We take care of her. And she brings us dead mice. <laughs> dead field mice. All over the place. Uh, and sometimes dead baby snakes. She's a feisty little thing. She waits for us at night when we're out and then we come home. She's sitting there in the driveway waiting for us. She talks to us. We love her. She's a little baby girl. And she loves all our pets, even our dogs. At least she loves them through a window. You open the wind door and she runs off. She's smart. Um, and all our cats love her too through the window. And her daughter does too. So I just thought I'd introduce little mama. She's my little... Failed spay and release. <laughs> spay and release you usually do just to lower the population and just let them go. But she didn't leave. She stayed. She likes this place, so. I don't blame her. I mean, we feed her. <laughs> we do everything for her, so. But at the same time, she still loves to go hunt mice, no matter how much food you leave for her. She loves to hunt mice. And like I said, baby snakes. She'll leave, um... Nice guts and half bodies of mice on her property, right at the far side of the door. She thinks she's being sweet. It's actually really gross, but <laughs> it's sweet to think she wants to give us a gift. Um, her baby girl is growing up, very independent and strong. They're both very small. She's a small little girl, which I think might be part of why she only had three cats in her litter, which is not usual for a cat. They usually have more. Um, unless it was her first litter or something. I'm not really sure. I don't know how old she is. I know how old her babies are. I don't know how old she is. Um, but we were glad to find her here. For a while, we just watched her from afar when we moved here. And didn't even know if she was a girl or a boy. We had fun discussions about that. <laughs> and then there was these three kittens. We, well, actually, we only saw two kittens. We didn't see the third one before, the one that we actually have in the house, who I think must have been a rent, and mom was very protective of it, which is, I think, usually unusual. I think they're usually mean to rents. But anyway, we saw the other two that are, like, best friends, just poking their heads out of the bushes. So we started trying to lure them and do it in a more slow process, but it was not working. So we used um, traps. Humane traps, non, just cage traps. They walk in and it closes. Simple traps like that that we got from the animal shelter. The animal shelter told us not to do anything ourselves after we got them trapped, but we did. Because we weren't going to let the shelter have them because they have so many cats. We just didn't want them to be euthanized. I couldn't live with myself if we did that. So, um, the mom and the baby we have inside were the first ones to get caught. We let the mom go because we knew the baby still needed her milk. We didn't want to keep her prisoner with her two babies still out there. So we let her go and took in the kitten. And the only reason that trap went off, I think, was because the mom went in with the kitten. She was probably chasing after her kid like, hey, no, that's a trap. Don't you realize that? Come back here right now, young lady. And the other two, we, they wouldn't, the trap wouldn't close because they went in one by one and they were too light. Even together, they were too light. So we ended up having to get squirrel traps. <laughs> and finally, it would go off. And um, we took care of them in a cage inside. They got comfortable and sweet and cuddly. Um, the last one we caught was the Himalayan. That was the one that showed aggression issues to the person who adopted them. But like I said, he was the last one to get caught. So I think, well, that's pretty normal. I think it was just scared. Um, and the mama seems to forgive forgiven us and understood we took good care of her baby. She's always seen her little girl inside. And she comes up to the windows and the doors and they kind of be part of the family on a regular basis. She's always there. Oh my God. I gotta go so we love our little lady. <laughs>